Hey everyone, I'm really excited to announce the release of my new sample library with CineSamples. In this video, I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through a little overview of what sample libraries are and how I use them for those of you who are unfamiliar with them. And then I'm going to get a little more technical about how and what we recorded for my library for those of you who are interested in some more of those technical details. So let's get into it. A lot of you have asked over the years how I make my tracks and have asked me how I'm able to get a full orchestra sound in my recordings. And it's all really due to sample libraries and without getting too Two technical sample libraries are basically recordings of live instruments that you can load up on your computer with specific software and make music with like this. I'm so grateful that sample libraries exist because all the music that I've released has actually been produced with sample instruments. The only live instrument that I've ever had in my recordings is my violin. So everything else you're hearing in my tracks is made through this process of assigning whatever samples I want to different tracks within the digital audio workstation I use, which is Logic Pro X, and then writing or arranging the music by playing it on a MIDI keyboard like the one I have here. So sample libraries have really been invaluable to me as an arranger and composer because they're what allowed me to start creating my albums and singles on a reasonable budget. Without this technology, I'd need to hire live musicians to record parts, which would be incredibly expensive and out of most people's budgets, myself included. I would have never been able to get started releasing my own music if these libraries didn't exist, so I'm really passionate about this technology and incredibly grateful that it exists at a price point that's accessible to independent musicians. Since I get so much value out of these libraries and use them on a regular basis in my own work, I'm really excited to now be a part of other composers' projects through this artist series library with CineSamples. It's also something that I plan on using in my own projects too, so all around I'm just really, really happy to be a part of this project. So as far as how we created the library, we recorded at how Hollywood scoring stage, which sounds fantastic. And we had a bunch of different microphones set up to have a lot of different options for a final mix. I actually brought my own microphone and AEA ribbon mic along as well because we wanted to try and capture my sound as close to how I normally record as possible. We wanted to try and get as many useful articulations as we could in the amount of time that we had to record. So we ended up with a nice variety of articulations that'll work in a lot of different situations like legato, staccato, pizzicato, marcato, and more, so there's really something to choose from to cover slower and faster passages. So let me just show you a couple of the different articulations we have here and give you a little look inside the library. So after recording, the rest was up to the team at CineSamples to take all those recordings and convert them into what you see here as the sample library, which honestly I don't know enough about that process to really speak about the details. But I know it's very time consuming and a lot of hard work to end up with a quality finished product. It's really hard to replicate stringed instruments in sample libraries, especially the violin. Of course, there's no real replacement for a professional live player for certain types of passages, but our goal with this library was to get as realistic of a sound as possible, and I'm so impressed with what the team at CineSamples was able to do with the recordings, and we're all just really proud of how this library turned out. And I will say that while I don't just exclusively use CineSamples libraries, I have tons of sample libraries from all sorts of different companies that I like using in my productions. But honestly, I'm not just saying this, CineSamples has a lot of libraries that I really love and find myself using in most of my production work, so it really feels great to be a part of a library for a company 
that I really believe in and have so much personal experience with. And I also can't say enough good things about the people I worked with on this project from Cine Samples and the overall experience that I had. I've loved being a part of it and I'm so grateful that the team wanted to work with me on this. So if you guys are looking to get into music production at all or just curious to learn more about these kinds of sample libraries, I definitely encourage you guys to check out more from Cine Samples. They have some really helpful tutorials and walkthroughs on their YouTube channel. So if you're looking for any extra tips, it's a fantastic resource to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you plan to get the library or if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment below. I look forward to reading those and I'll see you guys soon again in the next video.